Did you know the biggest need for prosthetics in the U.S. is not due to birth defects or as a result of traumatic injury? 81% of all prosthetic needs are due to loss of limbs as a result of vascular issues, a good portion of which are attributed to diabetes. As a result, the needs for prosthetics in the U.S. is growing at an alarming rate of 5% every year. The high cost of artificial limbs and restrictive health insurance coverage leaves many amputees few affordable options. I'm Kim Meyer from Gate City Bank, and I'd like to invite you to see how one NDSU graduate is using science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to create a better way of life for amputees in this country and around the world. I'd like to introduce you to Cooper Beerscheid, founder of Protostetics. Cooper won the NDSU Innovation Challenge. Cooper, tell me, why is it so important to have affordable options for prosthetics? So traditional prosthetics in the marketplace right now can cost tens of thousands of dollars. It puts much strain on the patients, the clinics, and the care providers. So what we want to do is create an affordable solution that alleviates many of those pain points. So how did you start your company? It started as a senior design project while attending North Dakota State University. And we used a different manufacturing process called additive manufacturing or 3D printing to create these products more efficiently and cost effective. Can you show me how yes. it works? So it's actually really neat. Uh, if I come over here on the computer, we can play a quick rendering of the prosthetic socket being built on our 3D printer. This is the fundamentals behind 3D printing is that it builds it layer by layer. So if we go, come over here, we can see it uh, being built on the 3D printer right now. So what we do is we get a 3D scan from a, a clinic and we take that data to produce these prosthetic devices. Very cool. Can you show me how to customize it? So if we grab the iPad here, we have a 3D scanner that's attached to it. Okay. So here I'm going to scan uh, your head and then we can get a 3D model of it right now on the iPad. So I'll start the scan if you can stay still. So you can see when I show you here that it's building the 3D model as we speak. So I'll come over here and show you the finished scan. Oh wow. And so it'll build it from here and, and stitch all the pictures together. Very cool. So, something I heard about you, Cooper, you know, at Gate City Bank, we have a volunteer in mission leave. Neat. And I was fortunate enough to be able to uh, go to Ecuador and wow. do a mission wow. trip. And I heard that you've also gone to Haiti on a mission trip to use, utilize this. Yeah, so this is my second time going to Haiti. Um, I go with a larger group uh, medical mission team that delivers medical supplies and, and training. My goal there was to provide prosthetic care, and so I took my 3D scanner with me and scanned uh, the amputees there, and I'll bring that information back and actually create the prosthetic devices. Very cool. So then you ship them back to Haiti when they're complete? Yep. So we have a prosthetist that's trained in Haiti that will take the prosthetic devices and fit it to the patients, and they can check for the alignment and make sure that the patient has a normal gait. That is really inspiring. Yeah, it was an exciting trip and I hope to be back. Uh, my goal in this whole thing is to create devices that help people. And that's my passion. Good for you. Gate City Bank is proud to support NDSU and the Innovation Challenge. We hope you too will join us in supporting STEM programs and encouraging youth to get involved in the sciences. It's truly exciting to see how, right here in our own backyard, brilliant minds like Cooper's are using science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to create a better way of life for people in our community and around the world. 